Kazakhstan has been an independent state for almost 30 years. On December 16, the Republic will celebrate 27 years of independence. On this day, 1991, the Supreme Council adopted the law on state sovereignty of Kazakhstan. It was the last Republic of the former Soviet Union, which adopted an independence law. Over the years, much has changed in Kazakhstan, but something has remained unchanged. For example, the head of state is Nursultan Nazarbayev. His way to power began in 1989 when Nazarbayev became the first secretary of the Central Committee of Kazakhstan. When in the 91st year of the Republic of Kazakhstan held presidential elections, he was voted nearly 99% of voters. When in the 1991st year of the Republic of Kazakhstan held presidential election, for him voted nearly 99% of voters. However, there were no other candidates on the ballot, almost 30 years in the presidency. Therefore, he became the absolute record holder for the duration of his stay in power in the post-Soviet territory. If you look at the state TV channels of the Republic, you might think that Kazakhstan is the second China, which surprised the world with an incredible speed of development. What achievements are discussed on local television? For example, the fact that in the first five years of its independence, Kazakhstan closed the nuclear test site, joined to the UN and got its own national currency. To the 21st century, he formed the strategy for the development of Kazakhstan until 2030 and opened the Kashigan oil and gas field. He received the Pope himself and also held a Congress of World Religions. And of course, he joined the Customs Union. However, other indications are much more important, such as the standard of living, freedom of speech and the rule of law. These are the indicators that do not create a beautiful picture, but directly influence the lives of ordinary people. The independent charity the Legatum Institute has published a rating of the level of life of the population of countries of the world in 2018. In this list, Kazakhstan ranks 73rd out of 149 possible. Well, not the worst indications, but let's look at these figures a little more closely. With access to education, business development and the economy in Kazakhstan, all is not lost. The Republic has more or less average indications. Not Norway, of course, but not Afghanistan. Now, let's look at the indications of personal freedom. In this place, Kazakhstan lags behind the most. What's the meaning of that? All is very simple. The government does not respect the fundamental human rights and has forgotten about such concepts as personal freedom and social tolerance. Another negative indicator for Kazakhstan is management. The study shows that the possibility of people's participation in the political life of the country and the rule of law, democracy practically reduced to zero in the republic. The standard of living in Kazakhstan leaves much to be desired. In 2018, the lack of water is still one of the key problems of the Republic. In some areas, up to 80% of the rural population doesn't have access to the central water supply. Even the state program drinking water didn't help. Despite the allocated hundreds of billions of tenge, the low level of planning and survey work, corruption in the place, the lack of a systematic approach and control to the closure of the program, money is spent and the problem of water supply remains. The value of the subsistence minimum in Kazakhstan is now 28,284 tenge or $76 and the poverty line is 50% of the subsistence minimum $38. According to the UN standards, people living below the poverty threshold should be included who spend less than $5 a day or $150 a month. And here is another non-profit organization, Reporters Without Borders, published the rating of countries on the level of freedom of speech for the last year. Kazakhstan is ranked 158 out of 179 possible. One of the last high-profile cases, which demonstrated the death of freedom of speech in the country, was the defeat in the court of local internet mass media, Media Rital and Forbes. 
The last year, the court condemned the journalist of these publications to a substantial fine of more than 50 million of local currency in favor of the former Minister of State Revenue and now entrepreneur of Zainullah Kakimzhanov and his son. Journalist published materials about thefts in an especially large amount, which were produced by the official's family. The court considered such information discrediting honor, dignity and business reputation of Kakimzhanov. It does not matter that the fact of theft revealed the inspection of financial control and criminal case was open on this occasion. For the journalist, Blunt said, take your hands off the reputation of the official. These are simple numbers that speak for themselves. Since the beginning of 2018, 39 criminal charges have been brought in connection to the right of freedom of the expression. And this is not the final indicator. This is little time left until the end of the year. The current government, of course, has a different opinion. Minister of Information and Communication of Kazakhstan, Dauren Abayev, believes that the press of the Republic is free. You have no one hand doesn't beat, sincerely outraged by the minister to the question of journalists. That's what indicators are now estimated freedom of speech in the country. Back in 2013, Nulsutan Nazarbayev signed the law about personal data and their protection. And everything would be fine. Only here in the document, it's not specified what data can be considered personal. Therefore, such a verdict is made at the discretion of the judges and those who influence them. In fact, any information in Kazakhstan can be called personal. And to fine or imprison a journalist for distributing it. As you know, living in Kazakhstan is good only if you have a couple of million dollars. A better billions. Forbes published a list of 50 richest businessmen of Kazakhstan. Their total wealth exceed 26 billion. The first place in this list of honor is the daughter of President Nazarbayev, Dinara Kulibayeva, and her husband. Kazakhstan is impossible to imagine without Nolsultan Nazarbayev. However, the first and only president for today is 78 years old. For the first time in the history of his reign, gossips are beginning to spread that he may soon leave his chair. Will Kazakhstan have a chance to become a democratic state where freedom of speech and human rights are respected? Difficulty to tell. In the meantime, the young republic is celebrating its 27th anniversary.